While every part of the Starship rocket is crucial, the launch pad is perhaps the most essential component of the whole Starship system. Think about it. No matter how advanced or powerful the rocket itself is, it needs a solid infrastructure to support its launch. And when you're dealing with a rocket as massive as Starship, that launch pad has to be built to withstand the extreme forces of liftoff, providing a safe and reliable foundation. SpaceX knows this well, and as they continue upgrading Starship, they're also putting effort into upgrading the launch pad, making it more sophisticated and capable. Recently, they revealed a completely redesigned launch pad, something unlike anything we've ever seen before. Today, we're diving into this new launch pad and exploring how it will change the Starship program forever. But before we delve any deeper, make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. When SpaceX develops a new launch pad, it doesn't mean their existing one isn't capable. It's actually one of the most advanced launch pads ever built. SpaceX began constructing it in mid-2020, with a focus on building a foundation capable of supporting the world's most powerful rocket. The first step was reinforcing the base with six concrete pillars designed to withstand the massive thrust of the Super Heavy booster. Each pillar was built with steel rebar and filled with concrete, creating a robust foundation that could handle the enormous stresses expected during launches. This initial phase of construction laid the groundwork for the orbital launch mount that would later host the Starship rocket stack. After the initial concrete work, progress on the launch pad slowed as SpaceX directed resources to testing early Starship prototypes like SN8 and SN9. However, as testing advanced, they resumed work on the launch infrastructure, including the tank farm for storing rocket fuel and oxidizers. By mid-2021, construction accelerated, and SpaceX installed key components like the integration tower, which uses massive chopstick arms to lift and stack Starship onto the booster. These arms also play a unique role in attempting to catch the booster upon descent, aiming to make SpaceX's launch system fully reusable. One of the most notable innovations on this launch pad is the quick disconnect arm, which supplies fuel to the Starship while it's on the pad and disengages just before launch. This launch pad has played a critical role in the testing of the Starship system. The first orbital test in April 2023 demonstrated the pad's strengths, but also revealed some issues. The sheer power from Super Heavy's 33 Raptor engines damaged the pad, creating a large crater underneath it. This showed that while the pad was robust, it faced challenges in handling the full force of these engines, especially without any flame diverter or heat management systems. In response, SpaceX installed a water deluge system at Launch Pad A designed specifically to cool the pad and manage the intense heat and vibration during launches. This system operates by spraying up to 350,000 gallons of water across the launch area, absorbing much of the heat and reducing acoustic shock which helps protect the launch infrastructure. After the system's implementation and initial tests in mid-2023, subsequent launches caused much less damage, allowing SpaceX to conduct four more test launches without requiring major repairs on the pad. While this launch pad has managed to support the current Starship prototypes effectively, Musk has indicated that future Starship models will be larger and have more powerful engines. SpaceX's plans for future prototypes, potentially reaching up to 150 meters in height, will produce even greater thrust and require a launch pad that can handle these increased demands. It's not only the size of Starship that's increasing, the engines themselves are becoming more powerful with each version. SpaceX's latest engine, the Raptor 3, is designed to provide even more thrust and efficiency than previous versions preparing it to meet the demands of future Starship models. Starting with Raptor 1, SpaceX's early tests were already groundbreaking. This engine could generate 185 tons of thrust and was known for its complexity, with numerous external components, plumbing, and sensors necessary for fine-tuning performance. It successfully powered Starhopper and several early Starship prototypes, but was essentially a testing version. As SpaceX aimed for a more streamlined production and higher performance, they introduced Raptor 2. 
This next-generation engine achieved a significant boost to 230 tons of thrust and weighed less thanks to structural simplifications. The design also minimized the complexity of external parts, making it more robust and easier to produce for large-scale use in Starship testing and flights. The Raptor 3, however, is where SpaceX takes it to a new level. With a thrust of 280 tons, it not only surpasses Raptor 2 by 50 tons, but also maintains a high specific impulse at 350 seconds, which is crucial for fuel efficiency. The engine mass has been further reduced to approximately 1,525 kilograms, making it more powerful and lighter than Raptor 1 and Raptor 2. This latest version of the engine incorporates advanced 3D metal printing technology, which allowed SpaceX to streamline production by integrating components and reducing the need for complex assembly. This innovation speeds up manufacturing, lowers costs, and brings SpaceX closer to its goal of rapid launch and reuse. This is why SpaceX has decided to construct an additional launch pad designed to handle the higher output of the upgraded Raptor engines. Musk noted that the new pad would handle up to 10,000 tons of thrust, almost three times the power of NASA's Saturn V rocket, the most powerful rocket of its time. This is essential to support the next Starship version, V2, which will be taller at 124 meters and demand about 8,240 tons of thrust. Key advancements in the pad structure aim to address the significant damage that can result from launches, especially at this scale. One of the main features of this pad is the flame diverter, a device that channels the intense heat and pressure away from the base of the rocket. This approach is inspired by designs like NASA's Apollo-era flame trenches, which successfully protected launch infrastructure by diverting flames into trenches away from the pad. SpaceX's flame diverter, however, incorporates modern design changes, combining with a water-cooled steel plate to disperse heat safely and efficiently. The steel plate, resembling an upside-down showerhead, sprays vast amounts of water to absorb the heat and prevent damage by creating steam barriers. This addition was tested in July 2023 and showed promising results in reducing damage by redirecting the intense exhaust from the Raptor engines during liftoff. While SpaceX continues to make history with groundbreaking achievements, their biggest competitor, Boeing, recently shocked the industry by announcing plans to sell the Starliner program. Since winning a NASA contract in 2014 to develop Starliner, Boeing has faced significant technical and financial issues. Most recently, Boeing added another $250 million in losses for Starliner due to continued testing and delays, bringing its total losses to about $1.85 billion. The Starliner program has struggled since its initial orbital flight test in 2019, which failed due to software problems that prevented docking with the International Space Station. Boeing had to redo the test in 2021. And although this second attempt succeeded, the program continued to encounter setbacks. In 2023, after a crude test flight, engineers identified further issues with leaks and thrusters, extending the delays and driving up costs even more. NASA awarded Boeing $4.2 billion for Starliner, hoping it would serve as a reliable alternative to SpaceX's Crew Dragon, which was awarded a $2.6 billion contract. However, while SpaceX has successfully completed numerous missions for NASA and other private clients, Boeing's Starliner has yet to become fully operational. With ongoing financial strain, Boeing has considered focusing on its core aerospace and defense businesses, as Starliner may not be profitable or sustainable for the company long term. Now, if you're a space nerd like me, I've got a treat for you. I recently watched one of the most intense documentaries about a spacewalk that took a terrifying turn, where an astronaut was miraculously rescued. I'm not usually into documentaries, but this one blew my mind, so I thought, why not share it with all of you? Just search for the video titled Spacewalk That Turned Into a Nightmare, click on it, and trust me, you'll thank me later. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.